This week on Iron Gentry, we're going over how to coordinate your ties with your pocket squares. Three things you need to consider. Color, patterns, and contrast. In terms of color, you're going to want to make sure that your pocket square is in the same sort of color family as your tie. When you use the right colors and when you use the same color family for your tie and your pocket square, it's going to complement each other and it's not going to be too much of a drastic difference. Let's say if I had on a green tie and a red pocket square, well maybe at Christmas you could do that, uh, but in general that's going to create the illusion that you got too many different colors going on. The colors don't have to match exactly, but they should be within the same color family. For example, I've got a turquoise tie here, and you can probably notice that I've got darker turquoise dots, and the dark turquoise uh, pocket square picks up on these dots very nicely. Second thing you're gonna wanna consider is patterns. Now, in this particular instance, I've got little shapes on my tie, and in my pocket square, I've got paisley. But the combination works because although the tie and the pocket square are yellow or gold, so it's in the same color, it's got different patterns. So here it is up close. Uh, you can see the tie has little dots and shapes, and the pocket square has some paisley, right? But the combination goes well because although they're very similar in color, they're different in pattern. Here's an example where the pattern and the color are the exact same and you'll be able to tell the difference. Told you, same pattern, same color, in the pocket square and the tie. It's just too matchy, matchy. I actually got this tie and pocket square in a combo set um, for Christmas uh, one year. And you know, I still wear both, the pocket square and the tie, but not together. Take this thing out. Throw in a nice solid beige. Now don't that look dapper. See the difference? Beige in the pocket square picks up the beige in the tie. But it's not the same pattern, so this gives it enough contrast for the eye. So this just took it from looking like you didn't really know what you were doing to boom, executive. What up? Here's another example for you. Got a lavender paisley tie and I've got a patterned uh, purple pocket square. Now it's not the exact same color, purple, but it is in the same color family, like I was saying. Although with this color combination, if I wore the dark uh, purple here, I could probably rock a paisley one, even though the tie is paisley, because the tie and pocket square are different colors. Just to give you a closer look, got a nice edging on the top of the pocket square, give it a little bit of character and you can see it's different patterns than in the tie. Remember that third thing I talked about? Contrast? This is it. You got the same pattern, the dots, same color family, the blues, but if you pay attention, the dots in the pocket square are one a different size than the dots in the tie, and also the spacing on the dots on the pocket square is a different distance then on the tie. Here's a closer look. Bigger dots, different spacing. Contrast. This has got to be like one of my favorite combinations because it shows you know what the hell you are doing when it comes to contrast, when it comes to color, when it comes to pattern. People pick up on it, it compliments you, you know what you're doing, it feels damn good. All right, let's say you just got a new tie. Let's say you got this one, right? Orange, blues, yellows, and you ain't got a pocket square. You ain't got this orange one. Guess what? Whitey will always save you. What you should always have in your wardrobe is a plain white cotton pocket square. You're in a rush in the morning. You ain't got anything to go with this tie. Throw in the white pocket square. You're still gonna look dapper. You're still gonna look stylish. And you're still gonna look sexy. So those are the three things that you guys gotta consider when you're coordinating your pocket squares with your ties. Color, pattern, contrast. If you missed the videos I did on how to tie four different tie knots or how to fold five different pocket squares, I've got those down below for you and you can check those out. I've got some exciting stuff for you guys coming down the line, so make sure you subscribe, 
And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you next time on Island Gentry. Before I go, guys, I just wanted to share um, a, a discount code I have uh, with Spreza Box, which is basically a company that specializes in monthly box service for gentlemen, uh, gentlemen style. And every month they'll send you um, stylish items, which normally include tie and pocket square, which are already coordinated for you. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. Uh, so all you have to do is get your box put on your pocket square and tie that they send you and off you go it's that easy so if you want to try this option uh, you can use my code which is rule 53 R U L E 53 uh, when you check out and this will get you 10 percent off your first box so go ahead try it out I'll put the link down below to the website and you can get your Spreza box today I'll, I'm also going to show you some pictures of you know my different outfits my different pocket squares and ties that I've coordinated give you guys some more ideas thanks for watching guys